Dragon Paddle. Dragon Paddle. Dragon Paddle. Dragon Paddle. Hi guys and gals, I'm Silent Senior Zero Nine! And this is Let's Play Spyro Ripto's Rage. Last time we left off, we finished up things in Idle Springs. Did a little exploring with our new ability, um, how to swim underwater. <laughs> it just sounds so silly. You would think swimming, in general, would be like the whole lesson we would need to know. You know, the whole sink or swim bit. But, I guess... Oh man, we gotta know how to swim underwater. I mean, actually, I shouldn't probably scoff at that. Because, I mean, it has been a while since I remember when I first learned how to swim underwater and hold my breath. Check your guidebook by pressing the start button and choosing the guidebook option to see which talismans you have collected. I mean, we could, or we could just remember that we did Glimmer, Colossus, and Idle Springs. That's three worlds thus far. I was about to say so far, but I wanted to be fancy and say thus far. Because I want to sound like freaking William Shakespeare. Jeez. That didn't make any sense whatsoever, but whatever. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and explore this little section here. You might have noticed this before, or you might not have. I mean, it's fine if you didn't. Also, what is with that fish? Is there something down there you're trying to eat? Or are you just, like, stuck in the ground? I'm sorry, fish. I can't help you. The game won't let me. I can't... It, I have no ability to breathe fire underwater, at least as is now. Foreshadow for later. <laughs> um, let's see... What was up here? Oh yeah, this is, um... This is actually an underwater cave segment that was kind of niftily designed. So, do you all remember that orb that was taunting us for a while? The one that was bouncing up and down? Yeah! The one we couldn't glide to up a cliff here. You had to basically... Oh my gosh, you had to fall in water. No, you didn't have to fall in water. You had to go underwater to get to it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, if you're wondering right now, like, is it going to be possible now to 100% collect everything in Summer Hill Forest? Summer Hill... I did it again. Summer Forest. Uh, to answer that, no. We will not be able to. I think we can get all but one orb, and I think maybe like all but ten treasure or something like that. It's a little wonky. I might be off on my numbers, but I know for a fact we can't finish this world completely because there's an ability that we are going to need to do in order to do so. But for now, let's go ahead and continue exploring the rest of Summer Forest since... We've already taken care of everything outside of the castle. Now we got to go inside the castle via the underwater entrance. Thankfully, we're not going through the sewage line. Ooh. I actually don't know if there is, off the top of my head, a sewage-based level. I mean, there was that whole beastie Badlands from Spyro the Dragon. But I don't think there's like a Clanker's Cavern in this world, thankfully. And I think that's like the umpteenth reference I've made to Banjo-Kazooie. I don't know why I'm doing that. Jeez, you would think I'd make references more to ukulele, because I actually had a lot of fun with that one. Eh, maybe in time I will. Also, BUTTON! You saw that I flamed the last one, but you could also... CHARGE the button! Oh yeah, what's up? You're well on your way, Spyro. Keep collecting talismans to help us defeat Ripto before he can take over Avalar. Yay! Oh, and keep collecting those orbs, too. The professor thinks they will help you get back to the dragon world. Or could I maybe get to dragon shores? I don't know. Maybe I could use a trip back to dragon world first before I go to dragon shores. Hmm. Decisions, decisions, huh? Also, I see another taunting ladder. Oh. I saw something shiny at the top of this wall. You could probably get it, but you'll have to learn how to climb first. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's like the second time we're being taunted because we're not able to climb the ladder like Link can. Ugh. Ugh. Darn it. Curse you, ladder, and your vertical gravity self. And your rungs of doom that my claws can't touch yet. How many ones are, are spiral ups? Does that make nine? Ooh. Nice. We reached the maximum number of lives that you can have in Bando Kazooie. And only I would know that because I am a nerd! A super nerd, man. Oh. Hey, Hunter. Your game camera is currently in passive mode. This mode requires you to control the camera yourself and moves more slowly. Okay. If you like, 
I can change the game camera to use active mode. In active mode, the camera moves much faster. Hmm, decisions, decisions. You know what? Sure, let's do it. Okay, all done. The camera will move faster now. If you don't like it this way, come back and see me. Or change it yourself by using the options menu. Hmm, interesting. Speaking of which, I don't think I even explored that a little bit yet, but I suppose, I suppose, I suppose, I suppose, now wouldn't be a bad time. So we actually have the guidebook actually acts as like the start pause menu. We can hit continue from here, which would, you know, unpause the game, or alternatively, if you want to push start, you can do that. The guidebook, which Alora actually hinted to a while back, is kind of our way of checking our progress. As you can see, we've already 100%ed two worlds. Glimmer, we aren't able to 100% unless we do a cheese trick that allows you to skip some portions of, or skip some portions that you would normally have to do in the level. And Summer Force is the one we're in right now. And if you do happen to click on, like you use the X button, it'll actually take you directly to the page of each world that you happen to explore. Or you can make like um, you're turning a page in a chapter book by using the left and right D pads, which kind of helps you kind of pick, like see how your progress is going. The thing I don't like about this is the orbs, they don't actually tell you like, uh, not secrets, tell you like little hints as to how to collect them. They just show question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. That might have been one of you, or one shy of question marks that were listed there. I find that a little frustrating, but at least they do kind of give you an order of where, when you're going to be picking them up. So there's that. Um, we'll go ahead and hit return here. There we go. Return again. So that's your guidebook. Uh, there's actually going to be another section that gets added to that later if we start completing said challenges that are related to that. But more on that later. Uh, we can save the game manually if you feel like you haven't saved or auto-saved recently. Go ahead and do that. Options, of course, as he was saying. Camera is currently set to active. If we want to change it to passive, we just hit X. If we want to change it back to active, we hit X. Vibrations, I'm going to leave on. Uh, this changes the position of the screen itself, so depending on what kind of television you have, you can do this. As you can see, as I push right on the D-pad, it shoves the... Uh, picture over to the right, but I don't want to do that. I want to keep it in the center. And map! This is something I actually, for the longest time, didn't know existed, but um, there's a map that actually exists in this game. So if I turn that on, go to done, leave it alone, continue or hit unpause. Yeah, on the bottom left, we'll actually have a map which shows you a blueprint kind of diagram of roughly how the entire world that you're in is going to be laid out. Obviously, we've explored most of the area already, and it doesn't actually tell you, like, landmarks of where you recently were and all that. It shows where you're at currently based on the uh, little light there that's flashing. That's your character, Spyro, and depending on the direction you're facing, there you go. It can be kind of helpful if you're trying to find your way and navigate through this, especially if you're new to this. Wish I would have not thought to do this, but then again, I was too stubborn to look at the map even when I was younger, so it didn't matter anyway. I'm actually going to go ahead and turn that off, because I don't really need it. I thought about playing with that on, just to see, so we could see each of the worlds. But, eh, I kind of second-guessed myself and said, yeah, I don't feel like it. Uh, sound, if you want, you can adjust the sound of the in-game sounds that you hear, or the music that you hear in the background. The voices, you can turn them on or off. I don't know if that affects cutscenes entirely. It might actually just affect... Um, non-cutscene themed sections. Uh, for speaker, we have stereo, we have mono, which, eh, I don't really need to use mono. I mean, there are some cases I'm sure it would be useful, but I prefer stereo. And then, of course, if you hit quit game, it'll actually give you the option to quit game. It won't ask you, are you sure? Do you want to save? Are you really sure? You know, kind of like how some games tend to be. Alright, sorry. Oh, gosh, that was a lot of tutorial garbage. Um... I guess we should just go and explore the door that's already opened and then go from there. Just so we don't have to exert as much effort, you know, pushing the button. Button, button, who's got the button? Nice work, Spyro. The orbs you're carrying have activated this special portal. You won't find a talisman in the ocean speedway, but if you're fast, you'll get lots of treasure. Have fun. Ah, okay. 
So if you were wondering, although I'm sure you weren't probably since I already spoiled it, are there going to be levels where it's just we fly around and do some random challenges that allow us to collect treasure? Yes, we do have speedways in this game. This particular world, uh, Summer Forest, only has one speedway, but I think in the next one there's going to be like three or four of them. I can't remember how many off the top of my head, but um, more on that later, I suppose. Hmm. Got a closed door here. Let's see. Dude! Okay, so that closes that door. Got some treasure in here, but there's another door that's closed off because of that. Now, pay attention here, because this is quick or very easy to miss. Kind of position your camera uh, in a way that allows you to see the door on the other end. Watch carefully. Oh! 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 Exciting! Yes, there's actually room on the other side. Now, the trick with this is you kind of have to make your way on the window ledges here. And it's possible to make this jump, believe it or not. It looks kind of like, oh man, there's no way I'm going to make that. Oh yeah, it is. It's just the camera can be a little weird, whether you're in passive or active. So what you're going to do, you're going to uh, fly. Glide over here. I just got through saying fly. That's why I messed that up. And over here, there's an orb. And I think that's the last orb we can collect in the Summer Forest for now. Don't charge it at the wall like a doofus. I'm not talking to you, Spar. I'm talking to myself. Myself just screwed that up. So that's everything in this little area. I mean, I think I might decide to do the speedway in this video. I don't know. We'll see. There's not much more I need to do, really. So I might decide to go ahead and just knock that out of the way. Charge! Hey, moneybags. What's up? Say, Spyro, you see this wall here? I bet you're dying to know what's on the other side. If only I had a few more gems, I might be able to remember how to lower the wall. Oh, I love how you play in that card. I might remember if you just kind of jog my memory with some <laughs> smelled like treasure gem money. Mm? 400. Well, at least it's less than the f swim lessons that this guy gave us. All right. Mm, yes, the sparkling beauty of those gems seems to have jogged my memory. How convenient. Zap. Well... Like it or not, you actually did fee? need to do that. Because, 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 because the game requires that you 100% it. Okay, maybe not quite like that. Um, in order to collect the final talisman in this world, there's actually a total, I think, of six worlds that have talismans? Yeah, six worlds, okay. In order to do that, we would actually need to get access to Aquaria Towers. That's another world with a talisman in it. We'll be dealing with that later. For now, let's go ahead and go back to that speedway room. Button! Yay. And I don't know how much time has really passed. Probably not a whole lot. Maybe a lot did happen, I don't know. But we're gonna go and knock out an ocean speedway because, eh. I feel kind of like I'm jipping you all if I decide to just end it there and be like, Oh great, another Summer Forest video where I barely do any exploring, you know. Alright, so much like before, in the speedways we have these little challenges. Sometimes we're flying through rings, sometimes we're flying through arches, we might be flaming enemies, who knows? But essentially what we gotta do is, I don't know if I'm doing this right, I'm gonna go through the rings, then charge after these little go-kart gopher looking things. Oh man, oh my, I hate when they curve the roads when you're doing like supercharged sections like this one. At least the targets are really big. Ooh, hello. Okay, so I'm going after the boats next, it looks like. I don't even know. Oh, okay. I wasn't supposed to do that. Oh, well. <laughs> well, forgive me if I don't... Dude! Oh my gosh, this is sloppy. Return? Oh my gosh. That's fine. One way or another, we'll solve the problem, even if we do it maybe not so gracefully. Alright, so we got the boaters, we got the go-carters, now we gotta work on the arches here, which I don't even know if this is the most efficient route. It probably is not, but eh, oh whatever. I'll have to worry about that later, because I think there's actually like a challenge I have to do for a bonus video for later. I think that's like the second time I've mentioned that. I'm sorry if I'm annoying anybody for doing that, but I'm just trying to make mention of it now in case anybody's wondering, like, Silent Senior, are you gonna take care of that extra stuff, you know, that a lot of people usually don't do. Yes. Yes, I am. But for now, we're going to focus on just completing the levels and getting all the gems and whatnot. 
Alright, so, basically this is the way speedways work. To get the treasure in it, you have to collect your collect. You have to complete each of the challenges. You get 80 gems, or I think it's like 10 gems per an item that you take care of. Either flame it or fly through it. And then you get what's called an all-in-one bonus, which adds an extra 80 gems, and that totals out to a total of 400. So, you might be wondering, okay, I'm done, right? No, not quite. Now, you can try for a best time, and there's a reason for that to do that. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm going to say, let's go ahead and fly over here. In speedways... Well, these creatures are really kind of wonky and bizarre to me. Hello, yeah, Curvaceous! Pretty good. Well, let's see if you're as good as the current champion. Queen Finny. I mean, for a fish lady, you're pretty fine like a... Mm-hmm. Alright, so in each of the speedways, there's actually going to be a secondary challenge besides collecting treasure. We have to complete a race or something like this, so... Alright, Spyro. Meet the course champion. In order to win the race, you must fly through all the rings. Beware if Hunter flies through a ring first. The ring will start to shrink. Alright, so this is actually kind of weird. She says it's a race, and I guess maybe it is. But the main challenge is we have to follow Hunter through the rings, and you're probably thinking, like, how is Hunter going to do this? Oh, this is cute how he does this. Also, yeah, the four-star difficulty does not lie. This can be kind of nasty. Yeah, Hunter decides to develop himself some bat wings here, or dragon wings, whichever you prefer. And what we have to do is you kind of have to follow him by not... I mean, it's hard to describe, really, the best way to do it. Basically, you don't want to cut too many corners that allows you to fly through stuff quicker than he is, he does, because he does these weird erratic turns and patterns. And when you think he's flying through one ring, he actually flies through a different one. Now you can, if you so choose to, I think, I feel like this is true, you can fly through a ring that he hasn't flown through yet if you want to, but the trick is you have to make sure you fly through the rings before they disappear completely. And if he happens to fly through a ring you haven't flown through already, and he's like off in no man's land pretty much because he's just weird the way he wants to fly, then you're going to be left up Crap Creek without a paddle because then you're not going to complete the challenge. I'm sure there are people that have probably tried to attempt and say, oh yeah, well I'm going to fly through this ring before you fly through that one, and then I'll follow right back after, you know. I mean, there, I'm sure there are ways that people have manipulated this a little bit and treated it as such, which is they mention it's a race, but eh. I don't really see this as much of a race. And like that, we're done. Job, Spyro. That was some excellent flying. I love how elegant she sounds. Oh my, she definitely sounds like a queen. Not to say that all queens have to sound so... What's the word I'm looking for? So grammatically suave, you know? Like you're very confident. It's confidence, that's right. She sounds so confident. Alright, secret challenge done. We are done with this world, actually. I mean, if you want to, you can try for a better challenge. Spoilers, if you want to get the extra hidden goody-goody two-shoe stuff, then yes, you will have to. But I'll we'll talk about that much, much, much later. For now, allow me to say this. Thank you all so much for watching. Love you, bunches! Love you! Hugs, kisses, mwah, 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 hugs! Ooh, beer hugs! Oh, okay, okay, look out, look out. Too much hugging. Ugh. Fist bumps. Yep, fist bump. We cool. Oh, yeah. And uh, I reckon I'll see you all next time. Peace.